So welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your fourth humongous trig tutorial in the basic trig series. Today we'll be looking at the angles within a triangle. These are called the internal angles. So in this triangle, triangle ABC, angle ABC, angle BCA and angle CAB are the internal angles. Now there's a very similar relation between the three angles and the triangle. Together they all add up to 180 degrees. And this is true whatever the shape of the triangle. Let's say that the internal angles have values, small case, A, B and C degrees. Put as an equation, A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Knowing this can be really useful in geometry because if you know any two of the angles you can work out the third. In our example, if the value A is unknown and B and C are known, then A equals 180 minus B minus C. Whoa. OK, just for those unfamiliar with algebra and a little revision for the rest of you, I'll explain this little trick. To make A the sub subject of the equation, all I did was add minus B and minus C to both sides of the equation. The B's and C's cancel out on the left, and you're left with them on the right, with reversed sign. It's the same as taking the B and C from the left-hand side of the equation and moving them to the right and changing the sign. And you do the same with each letter in turn. B equals 180 minus A minus C, and C equals 180 minus A minus B. Let's check this out with an example. OK, A was 67 degrees and C was 45 degrees, find B. First we write down the angular relation for a triangle in terms of A, B and C. A plus B plus C equals 180. Then we make B the subject, B equals 180 minus A minus C. Then we substitute in the values of A and C, A was 67 remember, and C was 45. So B equals 180 minus 67 minus 45. We work out the arithmetic on the right hand side. Minus 67 and minus 45 gives minus 112. So B was 180 minus 112. 180 minus 112 is 68. B equals 68. And don't forget to underline your answer. Now some of you might be saying to yourselves, why do I have to write these equations out? I could do these sums in my head. And right, these, these questions are so simple. You could do that, but it's not all about getting the right answer. If you are studying to pass an exam, the examiners don't want just the right answer. They want to see some evidence of logical thinking. Besides, for your own sake, it is a good habit to get into. It clarifies your thinking. And if you were to get something wrong, oh my God, at least you can retrace your steps to find out where. But there is another reason for dealing with equations, as you will see. What if we have a triangle with only one angle, where one angle is given? What, you might say? That's impossible. Well, there are problems like that. And this is where the algebra comes in. Usually you are given some information, like the unknown angles are related. Not by blood, silly. Uh, say one is three times the size of the other. This is where writing an equation comes into its own. Let's look at, a, at an example. So we have a known angle at C equal to 36 degrees and the size of the angle at A is twice the angle at B. So if we call value of the angle at B small b, small case, then the angle at A must be 2b, small case, right? Twice the size. From first principles the sum of the values of the three angles equals 180 degrees. We can write out the solution like so. 2b plus b plus 36 equals 180. OK, follow me through this from the top. Collecting the b's together, 2b plus b equals 3b. And taking the 36 to the right, changing its sign from plus to minus, we have 3b equals 180 minus 36. And in the numbers on the right hand side, 3b equals 144. Dividing both sides by 3 to leave b on its own. That's 3b divided by 3 equals 144 divided by 3. 
Okay, the three cancels out on the left. We have B equals 48 degrees. Since A equals 2B, and we know that B equals 48 degrees, so it follows that A equals 2 times 48, which equals 96 degrees. A is 96 degrees. Okay, you should be getting the hang of this by now and should see where we're going with this. One last example for, for you on internal angles. What about the case when we are not even given one angle and required to find the other two? In other words, you have to find all the angles. Well, this type of problem doesn't, doesn't give you the value of any angle, but what it does give is the ratio of each one. In other words, how one is a multiple of the other. Anyway, here's the problem. In triangle ABC, the angle at B is twice the angle at A, and the angle at C is three times the angle at A. If we say that the values of the angles at A, B, and C are small case, A, B, and C degrees, respectively, then we can write B equals 2A, C equals 3A. Now, A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Substituting for B and C, A plus 2A plus 3A equals 180. Collecting the A terms, 6A equals 180. Dividing both sides by 6 to isolate the, uh, the A on the left-hand side, 6A divided by 6 equals 180 divided by 6. So, A equals 30 degrees. Now to calculate B. We know that B equals 2A. Okay, B equals 2A. Substituting for A, which equals 30 degrees, we have B equals 2 times 30. So, B equals 60 degrees. Now to calculate C. We know that C equals 3A. C equals 3A. Substituting for A, which equals 30 degrees, we have C equals 3 times 30, which equals 90 degrees. And that's it. Well, I hope this tutorial ha has helped you out. Thanks for watching. The next tutorial complements this one. It's all about external angles. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.